Hi, good afternoon. Welcome back for some brain damage. <laughs> we got some m, m on our hands today. Off the Slim Shady album, I believe, and uh, that album is just chock full of really wild and crazy stuff. Man, this guy can lay it down. And so I'm excited for this one. I always find it humorous to come across the Slim song because um, there's definitely a def de definite difference between Slim and Marshall. Um, definite mindset difference for sure and so let me give you some shout outs on this one i give a couple we got noah bailey nxp and jd kilpatrick 2000 have suggested it among others uh sorry for the others i'm not shouting out to you because i do see your comments i do see them um but yeah uh how can i say no how can i say no to a little eminem especially to some brain damage let's go here we go scalpel here Sponge. Oh no. Here. Wait. He's convulsing. He's convulsing. Oh We're gonna have to shock him. Oh my god. We're gonna have to shock him. These are the results of a thousand electric volts. A neck with bolts. Nurse with Frankenstein. Losing him. Check the pulse. A kid who refused to respect the dolls. Wore spectacles. With tape frames and a freckled nose. A corny looking white boy. Scorning and always ornery. Cause I was always sick of brawny bullies picking on me. And I might snap. One day just like that. I decided to strike back. And flatten every tire on the bike rack. Oh gosh. Okay, hang on. May I? May I? Would you just humor me for a moment? May I go back? Thank you. I appreciate it. I just want to. I just want to get the beginnings here again, because the the bolts on the neck kind of made me laugh a little bit. Thinking of Frankenstein, I started. To, I was sidetracked about thinking all you know, young Frankenstein and stuff, and I lost track of what he was saying. So let me go back. Wait. He's convulsing. He's convulsing. Huh? We're gonna have to shock him. Oh my god. We're gonna have to shock oh him. These are the results of a thousand electric volts. A neck with bolts. Nurse, we're losing him. Check the pulse. A kid who refused to respect the dose Wore spectacles with tape frames and a freckled nose A corny looking white boy, scorning and always ornery Cause I was always sick of brawny bullies picking on me And I might snap, one day just like that I decided to strike back and flatten every tire on the bike rack Yeah, you push a kid too far, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna get it <laughs> Story time When I was a kid, I used to always, I lived on the end of a cul-de-sac And I had to walk down the street to get to the bus, right? The bus station was kind of like down the street, around the corner, down another street, and I had to sit there and wait. And there's always this little yeah, this kid, man, kept bullying me. Like I, I, I'd bully. I'd be bullied every time I'd walk by the house, and I had to walk by his house because I'm on the end of the cul-de-sac. I had to get down to the street, and he was right at the end of the cul-de-sac, and he'd always be out there to pick on me and bully me. And bully me. And it got to the point where at night, I'm just a little kid, man. I'm like maybe, I'm maybe nine, ten, you know? I kept getting bullied and I'd, I'd go to sleep at night af afraid to go to sleep because I knew that the next thing would be consciousness, getting ready for school. And facing that damn bully again, you know? Finally, man, I let him have it. <laughs> I just beat him up. I mean, I had to. I had I mean I didn't hit him in the face or nothing, but I I I, I roughed him up a little bit. And I said, what a feeling, man. It's like letting the airs out of the tires in the bike rack. It's like, ah, oh, finally, and he never bugged me again. You know, and it's like, I'm not advocating violence. I'm not advocating that kind of thing. But man, if you're bullied. And you were cornered and you're afraid, what's the worst that can happen? You're gonna take a few knocks, you're gonna get maybe a bump and a bruise, but you're gonna have to do it. I remember my uncle telling me, my uncle P, I love the guy to, to, to the moon and back, but he used to tell me, he said, Chris, what you need to do is you need to walk up to the biggest, toughest kid in high school and clock him. But I'm, I'm not gonna clock him. I'm not gonna clock nobody. He goes, well, that's the way you're gonna get disrespect from all the rest of the school. But it's like, no. But that kid had it coming. He had he had it coming. I didn't hurt him too bad. You know, it wasn't that. It was just two kids fighting. But it's like I finally had to show him, hey, enough is enough. Enough is enough. And look at man, when you get bullied, man, show a show of hands of those that have been bullied. It's horrible. It can drive a person to suicide. Literally. Literally, it does. It does do that. People have killed themselves over being bullied. And those of you that are bullies or that have been bullies, man, do a gift and reach out to that person. Maybe it's been 30 years since you've seen them or 20 years. 
find them and reach out to them and apologize and just say, hey, I was really bad. I, I was messed up, so I messed you up and I didn't mean to. It was me that was dealing with stuff that I had to take it out on you. And so those of you that are still caught in the bully standpoint and bully mindset of bullying others, man, knock it off, man. It's just not worth it. And here we go. I get Slim kind of talking a little bit about how he'd been pushed to the point where it's like he's going, all right, I have to take matters from on hand. So I'm going to see what brain damage is going to bring at this next time, this, this next uh, few lines. But come on now. We all know better. Don't be a jerk. Don't be an idiot. Don't be a bully. And some of you know that you are. Come on now. You're better than that. You don't need that. Okay? All right. Let's get let's continue on. They just like that. I decided to strike back. Flatten every tire on the bike rack. My first name is Junior High. This kid said, It's you and I. Three o'clock sharp. This afternoon you die. I looked at my watch. It was 120. I already gave you my lunch money. What more do you want from me? He said, Don't try to run from me. You just mm -hmm. make it worse. My palms were sweaty and I started to shake at first. Something told me, Try to take a stomach ache. That is hilarious because I did the same thing when I was younger. I did the exact same thing. I don't feel good. I can't. <laughs> oh, wow, man. Sadly, I can relate to this from the from the bullied standpoint. At first, something told me I'd take a stomach ache at work. I scream, ow, my appendix feel like naked birds. Teacher, teacher, <laughs> quick, I need a naked nurse. A, a naked nurse. <laughs> <laughs> only only um are you kidding <laughs> uh, sorry oh please oh my gosh teacher quick i need to take it down i'm crying Buddy, oh man, what's the matter? I don't know, my leg it hurts. Hey, I thought you said it was just Tommy. <laughs> oh, I mean, it is, but I also got a bum knee. Mr. Mathers, the fun and games are over. And just for that, son, you're gonna get some extra homework. But don't you want to give me after school detention? <laughs> right, <laughs> like, would you please hold me out? I want to be in detention, it's better than getting my butt kicked. <laughs> <sighs> Can you imagine? Where's D'Angelo Bailey today? Probably some homeless dude on a corner with a tin cup. Because, because look, look, you say one bad thing about Haley, you got it coming, right? You come after his daughter, that's it. But when you come after M and he becomes who he is, and this poor D'Angelo Bailey dude, he's finished. Finished. Bailey, an eighth grader who acted obnoxious because his father boxed us. So every day he shoved me in the lockers. One day he came in the bathroom while I was pissing and had me in the position to beat me into submission. He banged my head against the urinal till he broke my nose. I wonder if this is real. I mean, did this really happen to M? I mean, is this a, you know, comment? Because I don't know if this is a, a real, I mean, it seems to because he's referencing Haley and kind of prepping her or whatever. And it's like he's reminiscing about stuff that happened in this in his past with this D'Angelo dude that's got the tin cup. And um I'm wondering if this is really this really happened to to Marshall. I, I just I hope not, but probably so. Bang my head against the urinal till he broke my nose. Soaked my clothes in blood, grab me and choke my throat. I tried to plead and tell him we shouldn't be, but he just wouldn't leave. He kept choking me and I couldn't wow. breathe. He looked at me and said, You wanna die? The principal walked in and started helping him stalk me. I made him think oh. they beat me to death, holding my breath for like five minutes before they finally left. Okay, it's not real. You're not going to have the principal going in there and join in, but imagine that. Then I got up and ran to the janitor's storage booth, kicked the door and loose and ripped out the foreign screws, grabbed some sharp objects, brooms, and foreign tools. This is for every time you took my orange juice, I stole my seat in the lunchroom and drank my chocolate milk. 
Every time you sit my tray and it dropped and spilled I'm getting you back, bully Now once and for good I cocked the boomstick back as long hard as I could You know, wouldn't that be everyone's dream? You know? Yeah, it felt I'm, I'll admit it It felt good to kind of beat that bully up a little bit And it really wasn't a beating beating What harm can a nine-year-old do to another ten-year-old? You know, it's like nothing, you know? But but the the message is there. It's like you you corner someone, you're gonna you you're gonna get to the point where they're gonna have to defend themselves, and then you better have your game on, bully. You better be prepared because you want you want to know one thing that you're not gonna be prepared for is that you're not gonna be able to be prepared for that other person's adrenaline level, right? The adrenaline coursing through the person's that's bullied going through their veins at the moment that they unleash holy hell on you is going to be a day you're going to remember for the rest of your life. I'm just telling you, it's going to happen from somebody and you will be, you will be in a, a pickle, my friend. You will be in a pickle. So, blessed are the peacemakers. That's it. Blessed are the peacemakers. Sometimes bullies have got it coming. Again, I'm not advocating violence by by any stretch but there comes a point where you have to defend yourself now once and for good i cocked the boomstick back as long hard as i could and beat him over the head with it till i broke the wood oh. knocked him down and stood on his chest with one foot made it home later that same day started reading a comic and suddenly everything became gray i couldn't even see what i was trying to read i went deaf and my left ear started to bleed my mother started screaming what are you on drugs look at you you're getting blood all over my rug she beat me over Really? Now <laughs> the mom's after him? What's he going to do to the mom now? Remote control opened a hole and my whole brain fell out of my skull. I picked it up and screamed. Look, bitch, what have you done? Oh my God, I'm sorry, son. Shut up, you cunt. I said, fuck it. Took it and stuck it back up in my head. Then I sewed it shut and put a couple of screws in my neck. Brain damage ever since the day I was born. Drugs, what they used to say I was on. They say I never knew which way I was going. But everywhere I go, they keep playing my song. Brain damage. Ever since the day I was born Drugs, what they used to say I was on It's a good song which way I was going, but everywhere It's I never a song I don't like from him I just don't know what it is It's brain damage I got brain damage It's brain damage It's probably brain damage Then you got this image here Gosh Yeah, I dedicate this song to all of those that have been bullied because this is our dream. When we get a bully in our lives, I think all of us have been bullied to some extent, at least most of us. I've been. Um, and so, um, yeah, it's just one of those things where it's just uh, something that just is going to be part of some people's lives. But look out, bullies. Your victims are going to come back at you someday. So you just got to find a way to make peace. And, uh, and get through it. So anyways, we will see you next time. Love you guys. Hang in there. If you're being bullied, yeah, get the broomstick.